Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you not new, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel. I appreciate all of you so, so very much. Today we are doing the next episode of my palette roulette series. This is episode 88. We're getting so close to 100, you guys. Maybe we should do something spectacular for 100. That is so crazy. It's so crazy to me that we've been doing this for this long and like I love it I love doing this but some people aren't too fond of it which is fine it's fine it's you know what you love to do so for those of you unaware the palette roulette series that I do here on my channel is me utilizing an app on my phone so something that I picked out of the Android Play Store just a like a wheel of fortune type app to select a palette in which I use for a week I come back to you the following week we talk about my opinion of the palette what I found to be true for myself about the palette uh, show you some swatches if it's like a smaller palette and show you some looks that I created with it kind of like a four or five or six look one palette kind of deal and then go from there I have heard a lot of people talking about the fact that they would love me to do a video using the palette that I pull for palette roulette. The problem is, is I have a really hard time having the time to do a get ready with me because as you guys know, like I'm not monetized. I don't make, make it, I don't make any money from this. I'm doing it out of the pure pleasure of doing this. I love being on YouTube. I love my channel. It is my, my safe place. Um, and I, I work more than full time. So I don't really have a whole lot of time to do get ready with me as, with the palettes, but I really am trying. I wish I would have done the, this today because I love this look. And I have to tell you, if you guys watch, I think the video that I posted on Friday, I, it was a haul recap and the months that I was going over were the months in which I purchased this palette and I really loved this palette. I had a lot of fun with this palette and this is just one of the amazing eye looks that I came out with while using this, sorry, get myself comfy here, while using this palette. So uh, I think I created a look almost every single day and I loved it. So um, with that being said, this palette that I am talking about is the ABH Norvedan Collection Mini Volume 1. This is one of her mini pro pigment palettes. It is the first in the pro pigment minis series. I do have most of them, but I do not have very many of the minis. And I decided after utilizing this that I was going to pick up the other two minis in this collection because I just had so much fun with this palette. So this is a nine pan eyeshadow palette. It ranks at 4.6 stars on the ABH website with 141 reviews and it ranks at 4.6 stars on the Ulta website with 134 reviews. I wouldn't say that that is absurd. I think that I would probably rank it in the 4.5, 4.6 place and the biggest reason why I wouldn't give it more than that stars is because the shimmers in here weren't really my favorite but in addition to that some of my favorite mattes didn't function the way I really wanted them to function but I had a lot better time with this palette than I had with the pro pigment full size volumes that I have done a palette roulette on each one of them except for the last one number four I haven't I don't even own that one because I'm not even sure that I want to purchase it but I had a good time with this palette so the exterior of the palette looks like this it is just white it says ABH Norvina again her O is in the shape of a heart which I love it's white background with a black chevron and it is plastic the back of it looks like this. It's got just a schematic for the palette. It tells you it is the Norvina um, Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. It gives you the bunny for certified cruelty free. It tells you it has an 18 month shelf life and it 
tells you it's a pro pigment palette and some of these are not suited for your eyes and we'll get there in a second this is what the inside of the palette looks like it does have a really decent awesome mirror I love that it lays flat but it also has a kick on it so you can stand it up if you're using it for vanity purposes I think in my last pro pigment palette roulette I just had noticed that they leaned all the way back all of them do that which I think is great because you can utilize the mirror to like mix color or whatnot and it just makes it easier to hold it like this if you're trying to utilize it from a standing position than it does like this so that's just a wonky way for your hand to sit so it's uncomfortable that way um, this makes it so much easier to hold this is what the shades look like in this palette we do have like I said nine shades there are seven mattes and two shimmers and each one of those mattes is not intended for eye use so a one and three b one and three and the whole row of c are not intended for eye use what that just means is our fda hasn't coded them as good for eye use typically what that means is that it is maybe going to cause some staining dependent on what's in it it may cause some irritation i do get a little bit of irritation in this eye because this is my wonky eye um <laughs> uh in the inner corner it does irritate me but I, that's with every shadow I use whether it's for eye use or not I do get some irritation in this eye in the inner corner that's not specific to this palette or because I'm utilizing shadows that aren't safe for my eye it just happens in that one eye it just happens every single time I use anything in that eye it could be a eyelid primer it doesn't matter it's gonna be irritated I have had some staining so the ones that are worse for staining are of course the more vibrant in color so you're gonna have a C1 no this is B B1 B3 C3 c2 and maybe even this one i don't know so much about this one though because i didn't really pack it into any of my eye looks i blended it into quite a few eye looks so it didn't stain as much but i imagine that that would probably be one that also stained as i said seven out of nine of the shades in this in this palette are not eye safe therefore it's not called an eyeshadow palette it is just called a pro pigment palette so there's that indication there I saw a review on the Sephora website I think it was where one person was like this is not an eyeshadow palette if seven out of nine shades aren't safe for the eye I'm like you're right that's why it's called a pro pigment palette but if you know anything about makeup you know that there's an awful lot of the shadows that we use especially in the cruelty free realm that aren't safe for your eyes because they contain dyes instead of animal byproduct which is not something we want in our makeup anyway so there's that this is a cruelty free brand it is also gluten free it does say that you can use some of these shades as blushes which I would hesitate to do only because I don't know about you but I don't have a blush brush that's as small as these pans are these are full size pans this shadow palette does come in at $29 4.32 ounces of product so these are just under 0 0.03 ounces a piece which is pretty standard for ABH her pro pigment large volume palettes are much bigger pans than these but these are full size pans I still don't have a blush brush small enough to fit into any one of these shadows so I would hesitate to also the staining that occurs on your eyes I I don't know if I'd want my cheeks stained these colors <laughs> so there's that these are best probably with a tacky primer I did utilize behind the scenes eyeshadow primer every single time I use them except for twice at which point in time I used my JCAT Beauty, I think it's Marshmallow Pencil. And I liked it with the eyeshadow base, the white eyeshadow base, there's a bird out there freaking out. I liked it with the white eyeshadow base only because the pigmentation of it like really popped on my eyes. But I found there to be like a lot more creasing when utilizing that pencil than when just utilizing an eyeshadow base. And I've been kind of geeking out on Robert Welsh a lot lately and <laughs> 
<laughs> he specifically says to use an eyeshadow primer so I've been trying to do that more so in my everyday makeup routine I'll link his channel down there he's amazing if you guys haven't watched him I've learned a lot just from watching him he goes into this long tangent of why you shouldn't use anything other than an eyeshadow primer to prime your eyes for eyeshadow so there's that but i used a tacky primer the l'oreal behind the or l'oreal behind the scenes eyeshadow primer works really well you put it on your eyes you let it set for a second and it gets kind of tacky i don't typically go in with an eyeshadow and do like sweeping motions anyways i just don't find it to be effective for my eyes and what I like for the pigmentation of a shadow so I would put it on my eyes let it sit for a minute get super tacky and then go in with the colors and once I had all the colors on my lid I would then start blending out and I find that it just works so much better that way than it did on bare skin or than it did on a white shadow stick because the the pigmentation was still there as long as I was like packing it on in the right way. There was a slight bit of fallout with these shadows but I have to tell you they're more powdery in the pan than they are going to be on your face. I did find with especially with this color here and this dark purple here there was quite a bit of fallout with them but not so much that I couldn't just wipe it away and it would go away and those are the two darkest shades in this palette so you tend to see the fallout with the darker shades than you do with the lighter shades. I will also say that these two guys here they they are the two shimmers in the palette and they're um, not my favorite like number one they're super soft so if you go in way too hard. I found that even the lightest touch with my finger or my brush created a dent into the pan, which was alarming, right? I don't want to utilize this palette for a week and find pan in my eyeshadows, especially when I've got palettes that I've used for like four weeks or four months or four years, not four years. I haven't been doing this for four years. Um. I have palettes that I have been utilizing for much longer than a week that don't have pan. So I didn't want to go in and immediately see pan in my shimmers and I felt like that that was going to happen because they're super soft. But with that also being stated, they are god awful chunky. They don't really go on well with your finger. They don't go on well with any kind of brush unless it's a wet brush and even then you still have to pack it and pack it on. This is uh, probably two layers of this gold shade here and in person it's it's pretty chunky. Not my favorite shimmers at all. This currently is on sale at Ulta and Sephora for $14.50 and I would say if you guys can pick it up for $14.50 absolutely do it. I am going to pick up the other two for $14.50 as soon as I can. Right now one of them is out of stock at Sephora so I am definitely going to do that. This also was supposed to be a limited edition, but it's still for sale. And I know I got this in November or December last year. So it's probably running the gamut of its limited edition lifespan unless they decide to keep it on as core. Let's go ahead and swatch these. I'm just gonna go straight across, straight across, straight across. So A, B, and C is what you're going to get. I will say that these shadows feel a little bit dry. Uh, so you're not going to be super impressed with how they feel in the pan, but they do, they perform in my opinion a lot better than her larger size ones do. This is a one, it is just a matte bright coral shade. A two is a metallic gold, obviously it is what is in the center of my eye look today. I did put a little bit of pink underneath it so it kind of had a pop of sorts. It doesn't have any kind of pop all on its own. There's not really any opaqueness to it. It's more like a topper than it is anything else. And then this is a three, which is a matte purpley mauve. This does have a slight bit of glitter inside of it, but I don't find that it translates onto your eye look at all. So that is what those first three shades look like. Again, that is A1, A2, and A3. B1 is a matte deep coral. Some people categorize this as a red. I really don't think it's a red. Uh, it's definitely in your eye presence, comes off more 
more pink or more orange than it does red so I don't know why anybody would state this as red but that is um, a no B1 B2 is a metallic champagne pink you guys can see that in the camera it swatches really well but again on the eye look it's more sheer than anything else I do have a look from yesterday that was an all pink eye and this was on the lid and I had to tap that on like probably 15 times for it to have any kind of oomph any kind of girth in its in its presentation on my lid so uh, it wasn't my favorite it does have this like really nice like duochrome effect to it because I think it's like a champagne pink color with like an orange and gold glitter inside of it even though it's not like a glitter <laughs> it is a beautiful color but it's more of a topper and then this is b3 which is a matte hot pink or they call it a magenta i think it's more of a hot pink that shade is buffed out in my eye look at the top um, also, I guess under my eye. I think I put it in my under eye as well. That is the B row from this palette, B1, 2, and 3. This is the last row, and this is C1, and this is a matte, like, deep lavender shade. It is a beautiful shade. I loved it. It is also kind of buffed into my under eye. And this is B2, or C2. This is a matte, like, cool-toned violet. It is really really pretty as well and then this is c3 a matte deep berry this was one of my favorite shades to use in this palette but also one of my least favorites because it likes to pick up anything underneath it is in my eye look today it is the deep like berry tone in my eye look today and if you're gonna put anything underneath it you have to be prepared for the fact that it may come off patchy, it may come off as if it is pulling up whatever color is underneath it. So you have to go in purposeful with your eye looks and make sure that anything that you're trying to match with it needs to go on top and needs to blend into it versus the other way around because it just, it just doesn't like to blend. I know on my wonky eye, if you look really close in here into the crease, some of that color is lifted because I did put this purple down after I put that berry down and then put that berry on top and tried to blend it into it and it just, it didn't like it. So I had to go back in, put the berry in and then, you know, take that all off put the berry back on and then try and map that purple into that berry my eye look today has several of these colors in here it has each one of these colors in it it has this color and this color in it and it also has a little bit of this in it so it contains all but three of the shades in this palette you guys I cannot express to you how much fun I had with this palette I remember pulling it and I remember thinking oh I'm gonna have to pull in all of my single shadows because there's just not a matte in here that I can use as like a transition or there's just not a matte in here that I can use as like that you know neutral tone to like really boost or help and I look and I didn't my single shadows are sitting right there but I didn't even open them up so I, I was really pretty pleased with the process of using this palette. As I said, the shimmers shared out. They weren't my favorite. When you built them up, they got a little more chunky than I would like. And even this one on my lid today is quite a bit chunky. If you're looking at it in the, the mirror, like it is quite a bit chunky. And you might be able to see that in some of the pictures that I put up here. The mattes were super powdery and dusty in the pan, but I didn't see any of that translate onto my face, so I wasn't wiping away fallout galore. Just those two shades I, I had kind of a problem with fallout with, but it wasn't necessarily a problem. It was just what I would expect from a super pigmented shadow. Staining did occur with some of the brighter shades, especially um, B1, B3, C2, C3, so B1, B3, C2, C3, those are the shades that it's going to occur with most. The other ones are um, lighter in tone or cooler in tone to a, uh, in a way that you don't see it as much. C1 what, and C3 were the hardest two to blend out and I'm not really certain why with C1 because 
it did blend very nicely once it got to a point where it wanted to blend but getting it there was a little bit of a chore if I have to be honest but C3 I told you took some finessing to get it to work out the way I wanted it to in my eye looks so with that being said it will be one that I keep in my collection I know I fell asleep with these shadows on my face twice last week twice like I'm not wearing face makeup a lot anymore because like foundation and whatnot unless I'm filming I'm not wearing it a lot because I go to work and I have to put a mask on and I don't want makeup all over my mask so I've been doing just the eyes so at the end of the day like I think oh it's just my eyes like I'll just wash my face in the morning or I just fall asleep and don't really have any kind of thought process on washing my face because I didn't pack a whole bunch of poop on my face. When I woke up the next day, they were still on my face. I think the ones that weren't were, you know, the shimmers, but that's, there was still enough remnant of what was going on in my eye look that it looked like I had just put my makeup on this morning, both days. So I was pretty pleased with that. The longevity is uh, pretty good. It's eight to 15 hours. <laughs> That's a huge gap, but like, I felt like I could put this on at 6 o'clock in the morning and not worry about it until I took my makeup off at 10 or 11 or 12 o'clock even at night. So that was a plus for me. That's a plus with all of these palettes, really. I think that that was the same with all the other palettes as well that are in this collection is their longevity is there it is bam in your face and i think a lot of the reason for that is because it is pro pigment palette it is the pigmentation in the shadows when you look at this palette you don't think oh this is an everyday eyeshadow palette but it was for me and i know that my everyday look because i would wear this every day i would i would wear something like this to work my everyday is something completely different from a lot of people's everyday but my like office office eyewear is the same as my like weekend and filming eyewear how crazy is that except for that I maybe don't put on foundation it will stay in my collection I love it it's inspired me to pick up the other two I am going to go ahead and utilize my app now to pick another palette uh, for those of you who don't know I do have a Samsung Note 9 I do use the decide now app that I picked up in our Play Store it looks like this it's just a wheel of fortune app I do put all of my palettes into this wheel and as I use them or um, declutter them, I do take them out of the wheel. And as we get new ones in that I've hauled with you, I do put them in. So with that being said, we are just going to spin it. And to spin it, you just press the button here. And we got the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I will go get that and be right back. All right, this is my Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. And I'm really kind of excited to use this. I love this palette. It's one of the first ones that I got from Juvia's Place. It has been um, pretty well loved. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm not awful to my shadows. I do have the full size masquerade. I believe my daughter purchased this for me for Christmas, right? This one or Mini Magic, I can't remember. I love this palette. And the reason why I love this palette is because you have your two rows of crazy vibrant pigmented in your face colors and two rows of more of those neutral tones. So you can pull an every day, any time of day eye look out of this palette, especially if you're one of those that has to have different eye looks for work and for pleasure. So I'm excited to use this. I'm excited to talk to you guys about it next week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Do you have the Norvina Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1? If you do, please let me know what your thoughts are on it. Please let me know if we're similar or if we differ in any way in that. I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments section. I hope that you like this video enough that you're considering giving it a big thumbs up. It really does help our channels out there. And if you didn't like it, that's okay. Please give it a thumbs down, but please let me know in the comments section how I can improve. I move forward in all of my my life with an improve always mindset and I would love to improve. I hope that you liked this enough that you're considering subscribing to my channel. Either you like me or you liked the video enough that you're considering subscribing. That would be ultimate goal, cool, right? Um, we are all here trying to live it up, trying to grow, trying to be better, trying to 
work through this YouTube channel craziness. If you do choose to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. I do upload content three to four times a week, depending on the week, and I wouldn't want you to miss anything. Thank you guys again so much for joining me today. Please stay safe out there. Please love each other, but love each other from afar. Please be kind to others. Um, wear your mask if you're being mandated to. It really only takes a second to throw it on. And um, thank you guys again. Have an amazing Monday. Have an amazing week. And until next time, guys. Bye. I got a present for you. I went mixed out just for you. Why? Because I know you'd like it. What is it? Crickets. Ew, that's disgusting. Get them out of here. Crickets. For my son. No, get them out. Do you see? Oh, is that one mid?